So now let's check uh, the unemployment benefits. Achievement unlocked. Health in minds and bodies. They say that nothing really matters as long as you, or in this case, your entire country, has their health. And our medical report has never been so positive. Nice. Health is up. Poverty is going up, though. GDP is going up. Leader dies suddenly. The leader of the government has suddenly and unexpectedly died. He suffered a massive heart attack from which they never recovered. You, an interim, interim reader, has been put in their place until elections can be held. Okay. Well, I hope that's fine. <laughs> okay, the poor are getting mad. But, guys, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. So, unemployment benefits. So, what does this say? The river has no... It just pisses off capitalist. And it increases unemployment. But the poor are happy. Can it be done? None. No. We're gonna go with... Now, this is really a thing of personal preference. I stand... Uh... You know, I'm young. Relatively young. You know, I'm not 20 anymore, but I'm relatively young. I have high education, and every time I was searching for a job, I found it within a week. So, in my case, I never used unemployment benefits. But, I really think that there should be some sort of safety net that can help you in case you have some problem. So we're gonna go with it. I'd say like this is about correct. Though I don't understand why there is no... Uh, cost to the state. Maybe it's because uh, they're directly taken from taxes. Like, you increase the tax to alleviate the cost that you will pay for the unemployment. I, I, don't, I don't know why. why it doesn't show anything, but... Hey, we don't have the robotic research grants, really. Let's go. Technology, productivity, unemployment. Oh, actually, it increases unemployment. Holy crap. Trade union has cited unemployment, un unemployment, what? <laughs> okay, I guess it lowers unemployment in some cases and increases in different ones. But our unemployment is so low that I don't really mind. Let's see what that does. It should really help. Yeah, poor transport links are gone now, so GDP is going up. Poverty is going down, so no problem. Unemployment is at a minimum. Uh, still have a surplus of 3.32 billion, and the polls are optimistic. Ban livestock imports. One of our neighboring countries has had a publicly has had publicly announced case of foot and mouth disease in its canal. Although the changes of the disease, or although the chain chances of the disease being spread to us is very low. You are being lobbied by farmer groups to ban the import of cattle from that country as a precaution. Reject ban. There is no statistical or scientific basis for a blanket ban on livestock imports from that country. The outbreak is highly contained and poses little real risk. This will be an unpopular move overseas, which will be seen as blatant protectionism. And this would be an unfair and unjustified embargo of foreign goods. Or prove it. It's just not worth the risk, however slight it may be, of us importing this disease to our country. The only way to deal with it is the mass slaughter of cattle, and our agriculture industry would not survive that. This may seem overcautious, but better to be safe than sorry. If the situation was reversed, they would do the same to us. No, it's not, let's reject the ban. We need to improve our... Uh, basically, our mm, picture in, in uh, abroad. Okay, now I wonder. Religious membership is going down. Nice. And they're not getting more pissed. That's good. Capitalist socialists. Why are they stock exchanges pissing them off? Over the revenue administration. What have I done to make you happier? I don't understand. Have I cancelled something? I, I really don't know. Anyway, uh. We have such a huge surplus. I don't know what to spend it on. 
What's the economy like? Oh, we're going deeper, <laughs> guys. Okay, we improve foreign relations greatly. Foreign aid received. What about yeah? Tobacco usage is finally hitting a low. Alcohol consumption is hitting a low. That's good. That's really good. Uh, now I'm slightly afraid of having uh, Ludite revolts or Ludite revolts, but we'll see if it comes to that. Economy, agricultural subsidies. Do we want the space program? We do. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna end this game. I'm, I'm gonna have Gana shooting rockets into space. So it's gonna increase the technology greatly in 16 turns. Religious uh, will lose their membership. Unemployment is gonna uh, lose their membership. But Patriots will be happier and there will be more of them. So, it goes from telescopes, through big telescopes, arrays of telescopes, satellites, unmanned probes, reusable shuttle, and space station. So we're gonna have a fucking space station with the Ghana flag strapped on it. Do we have some problems with anything? I really don't know what the problem is. Or if we have anything, equality is going down a bit. Uh, which... I don't know if it's wrong or not, but you know what we're gonna do? One thing I should have done a long time ago, disable the benefits completely. It's gonna in improve equality and the opinion of elderly capitalists can go get fucked. If you're disabled, you need help. And work safety laws. Uh, how are work safety laws fucking up the productivity? Can someone explain that to me? Oh my god. And we're done for today. So let's move on. Internet crime. Oh my god. Wow. Internet crime can be a bit of a problem. <laughs> With our high levels of internet usage and other technological items, we are seeing a sharp rise of internet crimes. Computer viruses that no longer simply break the target computer, but hide themselves and steal the user's private information until detected, often to steal bank passwords or commit identity fraud, or hijack the computer and use it to perform further crime that's difficult to trace back to the original source. So we can find it, find it through intelligence services. It's gonna piss off liberals, uh, but I think we're safe to say that. Uh, it's not really a problem for us. Is there anything law well, and order? Internet censorship, that might help, but I'm not gonna do it. Wiretapping. Wiretapping. From the law and order perspective, wiretapping is an essential weapon to fight against organized crime and terrorism. The problem is that it's difficult to prevent misuse of such a system. And liberals are keen to point out how widespread wiretapping is a very sinister sign of a police state. I don't think there is... Oh my god, torch use. I wonder... We're gonna try to fight fire with fire. That's a uh, police force. Secret service is here. So let's see if uh, this does something to, you know, our beautiful country. So where's the crime? It's not going to be enough. It is not going to be enough. I don't want to impose the censorship though. Anti-corruption. I'm thinking that a censorship might be a way around. Liberals would suggest that the internet's greatest characteristic is its freedom from censorship and control, leading to an open and tolerant society. Freedom has its price, however, and there is no shortage of material on the internet that can assist those with criminal intent. Opinion on what should and should not be censored on the web is bitterly divided. We're gonna try to impose it uh, on some minimal level 
to fight the crime. Now the technology is almost maxed, and it's gonna only get worse as uh, the space program kicks in. So we should really pay some attention to it. People smuggling. A large number of people have been caught entering our country hidden inside cargo containers in an organized attempt at people smuggling. The criminals who masterminded the scheme have been arrested, but there is a debate as to whether those people who are now on our shores should be sent back to their countries of origin. Allow them to stay. There is strong evidence that these people were desperate to flee persecution, poverty or even death in their own country. These are desperate people, as we can see from the links, they want to in order to get here. It would be inhumane to deport them. I think these people stay would send out entirely the wrong signal to people who want to come here illegally. We have enough of a problem with illegal economic mini immigrants as it is. Unfortunate though it may be, the only sensible choice is to send them back. Allow them to stay. Um, I, I don't want to speak about that. Okay, this is going down. That's good. Foreign relations are much better now. It's good. Uncompetitive economy is going to disappear in a few moments. Uh, so let's see. We're going to get maxed out. Oh, malaria is gone. Awesome. Foreign competitor underpricing. One of our key extraction industries is being undercut by a foreign competitor, crashing the commodity price. The large competitor's capital reserves can absorb the loss they must be making by subsidizing production. We have no such capacity and cannot afford to support our domestic industry. What? Really? I really wonder how that may be when we have 25.6 billion in reserve. Anyway, uh, we're plummeting <laughs> deeper in the liberal capitalist utopia. Uh, foreign relations are getting... You know, foreign competitor is pissing us off. Changes. Foreign aid and foreign relations. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do anything. Actually, I could do something with it. I could send out foreign aid. Patriots will be super pissed. But foreign relations, socialists, and liberals like it. Holy crap, that is massive. Okay, but we can alleviate it with the space program. How much did I put it for? Where? I think minorities, foreign aid. 922 million per quarter. That should help <laughs> with our little problem here. Um, what did I want to do? I wanted to do something. Oh yeah, the internet censorship. I don't think this is going to be good, but yeah, it's lowering crime greatly. Conservatives like it. So what... In extreme cases, on police request, some sites blocked, all trafficked and monitored. Well, we're not gonna go that way. I think in extreme cases, or on police request, I don't want... Extreme cases would be best, but we really need to fight the crime. Okay, this, in extreme cases, What the fuck? Liberals are pissed no matter what. Guys, I'm trying to help here. I wonder why on police requests is lowering democracy. And it's lowering technology as well, but I'm gonna go with on police request. And this should at least, you know, a bit. This should help against uh, the internet crime. We're going to introduce uh, anti-corruption agents next turn to fight this. How much time do we have? Two turns. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Border alternation ratified. What? We have ratified a border alternation. What? Why? With a neighboring country, resulting in a small gain in territory. With this land has come its people who are now within our sovereign borders. 
we must decide whether to integrate them as new citizens or deport them across the border. Integrate, definitely. We still have a budget surplus. That's good. And our reserves are just awesome. Yep. Toll roads, plastic bags. Welfare fraud department. Its income is staggering. Okay, so this is the last turn that we have to do stuff. So let's just go with the anti-corruption agency. Lowers. Okay, it has no effect on anything other than corruption, which is what it should do. So, uh, anti-corruption agency should be here. Let's check what kind of... Actually, that's useless for us. We had no corruption for a long time by now. Capitalists like us. Conservatives like us more now that we introduced the internet. Although the border alternation pisses them off. Um, but I want to see how many religious... Yeah, they're, they're going down. We have done well. We have done well. What about the poor? Yeah, their membership is just going up and down. What? I don't even know what that <laughs> means. But I think middle... Actually, we can check it all in statistics here, can we? Okay, so middle earnings, there's more of them. Poor earnings... No, wait, this is uh, their earnings, poor earnings, yeah, and it's not the membership. So I can't see it there, so let's see it here. It's going up and down, up and down. Up and down, up and down. Patriots. The membership is going down, though the space program is going to increase it. Capitalists just love us. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird ending, you know. Capitalists were one of the few that I really was afraid of. They kind of like us, though the wolf it don't. Because we're paying free eye tests for people. Which is obviously so shocking to them that they are considering murdering, murdering me. So I'm gonna end it on a pleasant note. We're gonna go with game hunting restrictions. So, unregulated, licensed, ring fenced, fees, banned. Which is what we want. No hunting our animals, guys. So, election results. I think this should be okay. <laughs> so, opposition got absolutely no votes. While we got all of them, minus 126,500 people who actually didn't care to vote. So breakdown. Everybody, except a bit of socialists, voted for me. Changes. So these are the final changes, guys, because I'm gonna end it here. Uh, it could go on and on. We pretty much won. There is nothing that can really hurt us at this point. Even the deepest recession, we will just go through easily. So let's check what the final results are. I increased the health of our population by staggering 96%. I increased the education by 91.5%. Crime went down by 28.16%. Violent crime by 42.41%. Poverty by 26.56%. The equality actually went down, which is shame, by 1.24%. Environment, however, is 43.56% up. No change in working week. Technology went up by 60.96%. Car usage went down. Rail usage went up. Bus usage went up. Productivity is up by 72.88%. Unemployment down by half. CO2 emissions down by 5.13%, which is incredible in the long run if you think about the fact that we increased our economy GDP by almost 70 percent we are lower than what we started at air travel increased by 69 68.45 percent immigration up by half energy efficiency up by almost 65 percent racial tensions down foreign relations up international trade up 
All demand up, oil supply down, oil prices up. Poor earnings up by half, middle earnings up by 9%, high earnings up by 14%, GDP up by 70%, private healthcare up by 18%, private housing up by 30%, private schools up by 15.95%, private pensions up by 30.23%, tobacco usage down by 25.6%, Alcohol consumption down by 22%, traffic congestion down by 4%, tourism up by 80%, wages up by 5%, we could rock consumption no change because I think we have it banned, currency strength up by 61%, corruption down by almost half, foreign aid received uh, went down to a complete minimum. However, foreign investments went up by 41.41%. Democracy up by 30%. Dictatorship down by 9.59%. Stability up by 63%. Human development up by 85%. Agriculture efficiency up by 63%. Urbanization up by 63%. Informal sector down by 20%. I think this is complete minimum now. Infrastructure up by almost 43%. Population growth up by 11.4%. Gender inequality down by 100%. Economy type up by 64.82. I actually want to see the gender inequality. Yeah, we basically eliminated it. So, achievement unlock. Intelligentsia. You have met managed to preside over an unparalleled period of high education achievement and turn this nation into the world intelligentsia. Congratulations. And we have mass urbanization. Nice. Housing expansion post report. We still have a huge budget surplus. So I'm gonna end it here. There would be new challenges uh, eventually coming up. Uh, but we would find a way to fix it. Uh, the difficulty is just way too low, but I'm glad that we actually saw it happen and uh, I'm glad that we are looking at it this way. I'm gonna start a new nation soon, but I want you guys to let me know which nation you would like me to play. I'm gonna go to the main menu now so that you can see uh, which nations there are and I'm gonna play the one that gets the most votes. So we got Mauritius, uh, Botswana, Tunisia, South Africa, Ghana that we played. Senegal, Zambia, Kenya, Nigeria, and Egypt. Actually, people said that Egypt is the hardest. I don't know if that's the truth, because its GDP per capita is actually quite high. I think that, for example, Nigeria or Kenya <laughs> might be way more crippling. Uh, Senegal is also awful. It's, it's probably, it has the lowest GDP per capita out of all here. Yeah, Senegal is the hardest one. It has half what Ghana had. Unemployment is almost half. And human development index is down by 10% compared to Ghana. So, uh, if you want the hard or hardest nation, I think Senegal will be it. But it's up to you. I'll play around 150 to 160%, depending on your recommendations as well. But this is all for today. I enjoyed my playthrough of Ghana. I hope you guys did as well. It was fun, and I'll see you next time with some more Democracy Free Africa.